Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll show you what to do if your smartphone or tablet can't connect to a Wi-Fi network or it gets connected but you can't go online anyway. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Nowadays, you can find a Wi-Fi router in almost every home. There are lots of public Wi-Fi networks around – in shops, cafes, shopping centers and other places – so you can be online all day long even without having to use mobile data connection. But what can you do if your phone won't connect to a Wi-Fi network or cannot go online even if the Wi-Fi connection is active? In this video, we will find out why it happens and how to fix this problem. Sometimes uh, there may be difficulties with connecting to a specific network, and sometimes the phone maintains a stable connection to the router, then gets disconnected, and you can e establish a connection again. Another typical problem is that your phone can't connect to the network after you replaced a router, modified its settings, installed new apps, and so on. Why your phone can't establish a Wi-Fi connection and how to fix it? First of all, it's necessary to find out what is the actual problem in your situation. The phone can't connect to a Wi-Fi network. It says saved or keeps obtaining IP address all the time, displays an authentication error, wrong password error, or an error when connecting to a Wi-Fi network. The phone is connected to a Wi-Fi network, but there is no internet connection. Next to the network icon, you may see either words like no internet access or an exclamatory mark. Otherwise, notifications may not be shown, but there is no internet access for your browser or for other apps. No matter what specific problem you are facing, whether it is a home or public network that you are trying to connect to, here is the short list of things you should do in the first place. On your phone, turn Wi-Fi off and on, or just restart the phone. That's only for the better. Restart the router, if you have access to it. Just turn the power off for a few minutes and then turn it on. Check if other devices can get connected and if they have proper internet access. This step is especially important if you have difficulties in connecting to your home Wi-Fi router. If your phone can't connect to a public Wi-Fi network at a cafe or shop, probably there is an issue with the hotspot. It might be glitching, out of order or malfunctioning because of too many client devices. Connect to a different network or try connecting to the same network a bit later. Remember when exactly the problem started. Was it after you had modified some router or phone settings, connected new devices, installed new apps? Thinking about it may give you a clue and help you fix the problem soon. So, let's begin with looking into the case when you can't connect to a Wi-Fi network at all. If you have one of the following issues – saved, secured WPA error, authentication error occurred or authentication problem, uh, it takes a long time for the phone to connect to the network or it says all the time obtaining IP address. Here are some helpful solutions for the case when your device used to be connected to the specific network before, but for some reason it can't establish a connection now. First of all, restart the mobile device and the router. The second step is to remove this Wi-Fi network from your phone. Open Wi-Fi settings. Select the network, open its properties and choose Forget Network. On iPhone, open Wi-Fi settings and tap on the troubled network. Then tap on Forget this network and confirm your decision by touching Forget. After that, select this network from the list again, enter the password and try connecting to it. The third step I'd recommend is to reset network settings. On Android, you can do it in the More or Advanced section of the menu. Look for Reset Wi-Fi, Mobile and Bluetooth. Depending on the Android version and phone model, these settings may look a bit different than here. On an iPhone, open Settings, General, Reset and push Reset Network Settings. Confirm your choice. Having done that, you will need to connect to the wireless network again. It's quite possible that this simple trick will get things up and running again. 
If you encounter authentication error, authentication problem or saved security issue, often it means that you have given the wrong password for this specific Wi-Fi network. So first of all, make sure you enter the correct password. You can try using this password to connect another device. If you forgot the password, you can look it up in the router settings or in the settings of a computer already connected to this network. You can learn more about router settings from our YouTube channel as it features an entire series of tutorials on all aspects of configuring a router. Also, you can try removing the network. And a little earlier in this video, you could see how to do it. Sometimes you may see the saved secured issue or encounter authentication problems because your phone kind of dislikes some settings of the Wi-Fi network configured in the router. These may include network mode, B, G, N, A, C, security settings, channel and its width, region, etc. There are cases when a phone couldn't connect to a Wi-Fi network until the network name, also known as SSID, was changed. In this case, you can try modifying some router settings by opening the Wireless Settings tab. Of course, it only works when you are experiencing trouble with your home network. If you enter a password and the Wi-Fi connection actually freezes, saying obtaining IP address, here is why it, here is why it could happen. Automatic IP settings are disabled for your phone. It may be using a static address. The DHCP server on the router is disabled or glitching. By default, the DHCP server is always enabled and it is unusual to disable it. If you are sure the setting has not been changed, leave this option out. There might be other limitations on the part of the router. For example, your device may be blocked in the router settings. The solution is quite simple. On your smartphone, open properties for the specific wireless network and make sure that IP settings line has the value DHCP. If it says user or static, change it to DHCP. Check if the DHCP server on the router is working properly. If other devices get connected seamlessly without your having to enter static IP addresses, then it works just the way it should. After all, remember that your device may be blocked in the router settings, especially if these settings are managed by someone else. So if you can't change the settings, you'd better look for another network to use. Watch another video in our channel to see how to configure a wireless network on a router. Select the mode used by wireless network. If it is set to a specific value, for example N, only N or only G, then set it to Auto, and vice versa. If the current setting is Auto, try changing it to N. Save the settings and restart the router. In wireless security settings, enable WPA2PSK and AES encryption. Make sure your password is at least 8 characters long. Try changing the settings here so your actual region is selected. Leave the channel setting at Auto and channel width as 20-40 MHz or try using the width of 40 MHz to see if it improves the situation. The wireless network name, that is SSID, should not contain other letters than Latin. Don't forget to save settings every time and restart your router. And make sure you remember what settings you changed and how. Now, let's consider the case when the phone is connected to a Wi-Fi network but there is no actual internet connection. Very often, it happens because of some Android settings, for example, time and date, problems with DNS addresses and certain apps, for example, the one called Freedom. Sometimes everything works fine except YouTube and Google Play. Or it says there is no internet connection or there is a connection to a Wi-Fi network, but you still can't go online. The first thing to find out is whether other devices using this network can establish an internet connection. If they can, then look for issues in your phone. If they can't, you need to check the router first. Secondly, try connecting your phone to another wireless network. This way, there is also a chance to understand where the problem comes from – the phone or the router. If it's the router, Find what exactly has to be fixed, unless it's a Wi-Fi network of a shopping center or a cafe. If it's the smartphone, open its settings to modify them. Check if your device has proper time and date settings. <laughs> Who would ever think a phone may have trouble connecting to a wireless network only because time and date were a bit wrong? Yet it does happen. So open Android settings and make sure everything is correct. 
Uh, you can disable uh, automatic settings and configure everything manually. Sometimes a phone establishes a proper internet connection only after you change Wi-Fi network settings so that it works with Google public DNS addresses. Open properties of the Wi-Fi network your phone is connected to and add the following DNS addresses. 8888-8844. Now the internet connection should be working properly. You can also try turning Wi-Fi on and off or restarting the phone. In the wireless network settings on your phone, you can also find proxy server options. If proxy server is enabled, most likely your internet connection will not work. So open properties for a specific Wi-Fi network and make sure that the proxy server is disabled. If you have VPN configured on your iPhone, such VPN profile may interrupt with your internet connection. For example, the Wi-Fi icon is not displayed when connection is established, or you can't go online by Wi-Fi and it is only possible with mobile data connection. Sometimes internet access is disabled for some apps only. For example, Viber, WhatsApp, FaceTime, uh, while Safari, for example, works seamlessly and all websites open without any difficulties. All you need is, is to open the settings and remove the VPN profile. Go to General – VPN, select the profile and remove it. Uh, sometimes Wi-Fi doesn't work because of some apps. If you lost an internet connection after installing a new app, try removing it. Too often, people complained about the app called Freedom, which can somehow disable internet accessible services connected by Wi-Fi. In the end, uh, there is a phone connected to a wireless network, but it can't download anything. If you encounter the same issue, open Freedom, find its settings, tap on Stop, and only then remove the application. Sometimes other applications can also affect the internet connection. Try and remember what apps you installed recently and try to fix the problem by just removing them. Finally, if nothing helps, it's time to consider resetting the network settings. A little earlier in this video, you could see how to do it. Uh, doing it is not going to influence your other settings, apps or personal data. The only inconvenience you are going to face is having to re-enter passwords to all wireless networks you may have used before. After all, even if resetting the network configuration can't fix the problem, uh, the last resort is to reset your phone completely. Do it only after you know for sure that the problem is in your smartphone and none of the methods in this video really worked. And that is all for now. I hope this video helped you to fix the connection issue. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell icon to receive notifications and never miss any new videos. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!